ready to go find me some dirt bike shit? Fucking ice sting, right? <laughs> Hey guys, what is going on? It is Friday, April 1st, 2022, and I just dropped Stephanie off at work and I'm heading back home to get some stuff ready to ride to Albany tomorrow. First off, I want to get all these old clips off the camera to make room for some new ones. And uh, I dug up our GoPros, so I want to do a full lap first person, show you guys what the track's like. Because personally, when I watch vlogs, 90% of the reason is because it's a track I haven't been to in forever or one I've never been to. And I kind of want to get an idea of what it's like before I go. See if they changed anything or what the layout is. Also, tomorrow's going to be one of the first few times I get to ride the KTM 450 again now that it's back up and running. I know we discussed Stephanie's accident pretty in depth in one of the other vlogs. But this vlog right here, 37, I overshot a freestyle ramp, landed deep in the bag, rear tire heavy, which you're not supposed to do because it catapults you over the front, puts you head first into the ground. That gave me broken rib, bruised ribs, contusion on my elbow concussion and a very 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 minor separated ac joint i replaced my bent stock bars with these mika metals rc bend handlebars i run the same ones on my cowies and love them not that the neck and fat bar that comes stock on these ktms isn't good but i'm a taller rider and i like the ones with the cross members that stick up a little bit higher i also snapped this subframe bolt right here the head came off and there was still a little piece of the bolt in there and that was a pain in the butt to get out also smashed my throttle assembly and broke my front brake. Luckily, my buddy had a stock throttle assembly and front brake that he gave to me. So thank you for that, Andy. I really appreciate it. That's all I can remember at the moment. But now I'm tightening up the uh, head stay bolts on both of the KTMs because they like to rattle loose and disappear. I'm assuming that's a problem on Gas Gas and Husky as well, but I am not a fan of that. So now I need to move my car to get to Stephanie's car because you can't fit laundry baskets in the Camaro and I need to go do some laundry at the laundromat so we have stuff to wear tomorrow. Why go all the way to the laundromat to do laundry? Well because I can get all of our laundry done in the time it takes to do one wash and dry cycle. Plus it's getting late in the day and I gotta go pick up Stephanie from work soon. With all that being said I'll let you turds go and pick back up with you in the morning at Albany with possibly some helmet cam footage, possibly some sick third person footage with our nice camera, Maybe an edit? I don't know. Just getting back into the vlogs and we'll see you soon. kind of similar.